Hi, Eli Peterson with Case IH. We're going to do a quick view on how to change and navigate through run screen layouts when operating a 2000 series early riser planner on a Pro 1200 display. By default, we do have a generic tractor layout when you first start your system. So as you can tell, there's a number of different run screens that from a planter operator's perspective don't necessarily mean a whole lot at the moment. So what we can do is we can go in and edit that run screen layout. So what we're going to do is by default press and hold the run screen. We're going to hold that for about five seconds and it's going to give a pop-up asking you would you like to enter layout mode. You go ahead and select yes. When you enter layout mode we're going to be able to change a couple of things. The left hand area or this, this active column will be able to add or stack uh, rearrange or delete items in the left hand left hand area and then on the individual run screens we will be able to pull planter specific items and put them rearrange them on a run screen so if you don't like how it looks in the ISO view on run screen 7 then you can reassociate or move those run screens or those functions around to your desire. In this case we're going to go to the copy layout icon to the left of the X and you notice that we are active on the generic. You can either copy the generic, you can select planting. Default layout that we have for planters, it will get us close. And as you notice there's going to be a few things that will change. I still don't quite like this, I would like to add a few more things. So what I'm going to do is in that generic layout I'm going to create a copy. So in that planting copy one that we have created, I'm able to go through now and in this case select our left hand area. Notice I have a 1 by 3 universal terminal that's going to be a mirror image of everything you see on what we have designated for run 7. So I'll have that mirror image running all the time. Uh, I have also added liquid status icons at the bottom with a seed boom uh, control rate scroll so I understand what my liquid and what my seed application is doing at all times. Let's say that I don't necessarily need to watch my bar graph and control my seed at the same time. In this spot here I do have my seed and liquid control boxes. So for this instance, let's say I would like to remove that and add marker control. When I add marker control, I'm going to simply bottom right click on the trash can that will erase and then anything that is in blue is able for edit. I'm always going to start in the upper left hand corner and at this point in time it's going to pull a selection menu down. I'm going to choose the implement and boom and I will be able to view all of the controls and UDWs I have available from that implement. So I will scroll down alphabetical order to marker control. Marker control I'm going to click and drag and because I like my controls close to the left hand column I'm going to always keep that control icon on the right side. I will also grab obstacle record I will also grab obstacle control and put obstacle control on the run screen and when I'm done I'm going to simply close out and hit the X button and it's going to save that layout to that planter copy one that I have active I don't have to utilize all of my run screen space if I choose not to. But here we're back on our seed run screen and you notice that I have my seed bar graph in addition to the two run screens I just added for my marker control. You can go through and customize any of these run screens. What you see on the universal terminal is defined based on the options you have installed on your planner. So if you would like to rearrange how that interface looks, the option that I have is to readjust or elaborate on any of the six available run screens now I have in the display.
For any additional information, please refer to your operator's manual or consult your local Case IH dealer.